Hello, Father. My name is Angelica Asika, and I'm from Nigeria. Um, I... And I go to Alara, a center of Opus Dei located in Lagos, Nigeria, and I've heard a lot about the Guadalupe scholarships, which the Harambe project kind of it's a project of Harambe, which gives African women and girls who are interested in studying science-related courses the opportunity to study them in more privileged countries. And I'm very glad such a project exists because it gives great joy, hope, and light to the African woman who has been told all her life that she belongs in the kitchen. So I've taken part in a few service projects, and it's mainly about helping the, the poor and less privileged in society and making a meaningful, meaningful impact in their lives. So in Nigeria, there's a great divide between those who have more and those who do not. So my question is, how can, the, how can we who are more privileged live our lives with concern for those who are not? One first attitude that we can all have, that we should have, is thinking precisely of all the people in the world who don't have even what's the most indispensable, is to live soberly. Even when we have the possibilities to live, to have more, to spend more, to have more than what is necessary, to think in all, about all those people who don't have enough is helpful at meals, in entertainment, in work tools, when we are comfortable with what we have, when we find that we have, every, we have what we need to be happy, to be sufficient. Think about all those people who don't have what's most basic. This thought will lead us, on the one hand, to not spend more than what's necessary, to live soberly, to live truly detached from material things, from personal comfort. And this gives us an attitude of our soul so that in the measure that is possible to also efficiently help other people, collaborate with organizations, be generous. But more than anything, we need to have that attitude from within of our own sobriety, thinking of having only what is necessary according to the circumstances in which we find ourselves, avoiding caprices, what is superfluous, the limit between the necessary and the superfluous is not mathematic. It depends on circumstances. But the soul, our spirit, is what can discover in every moment what is necessary and what is not necessary and allows us later to give up more of ourselves to help other, other people. So the first thing that is important is the attitude, to be generous in the, gen in the measure that we can with other people. But first, the attitude from within. Thank you.